Man, y'all know what time it is, man. Yeah, we back at it. It's 1 a.m. What's going down today, man? We got a special guest that needs no introduction. Nah, not at all. <laughs> What's going down, my guy? Hey, some people that don't know me, so I'm gonna have an introduction. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> some people don't know me. Some people know me. I go by DJ John Wells. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Outside. Outside H time. Yeah. Man, how y'all? What you think, man? What's going on in the playoffs, man? You think Houston gonna go ahead and pull it off, man? Man, I, I mean, shit. The way the series going right now, shit. I'm looking like Golden State can't fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Shit. The rank gonna have to drop like fifty. To <laughs> yeah, I feel you the same I mean? way. Hey, they gotta keep that ball moving though, man. Look, look, they beat us by what? Thirteen points the first game. Yeah. Right. Second game, we beat them by a whole quarter. Right. Yeah. That's facts. All the way, man. Yeah. Hey, I, the beard I, doing numbers. I man. love it. I, I know I ain't, I ain't trying to be no Durant hater, man. But since he <laughs> left the city, man, you know, you know yeah. Every That's time facts. I see Durant, no. he ain't winning, bro. It's, we in there, man. Look, he got a ring, ring though. It don't, man. That's a bought ring, man. The way he got it, ain't player. No, so LeBron, <laughs> LeBron bought his ring too, bro. It's kind of like watching like your girl break up with you for somebody that's rich <laughs> <laughs> and move on. And you gotta see him in that Ferrari, man. That's Damn. bought. That's bought love. Man. But yeah, man, uh you say you from Houston, man. Yeah, I'm from Houston. Hey man, I, I heard you used to play D one ball, man. What's, what's uh I, I did actually D one track. Oh D1 for real? Track? Yeah. track? Oh, okay. I went on scholarship for track. Damn. For real? For um like how long did you run track and like what made you, you know Shit, I've been running track ever since I was like nine years old, man. Damn. So you got the wheels. <laughs> Got some juice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't nothing to play with. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, Hell, yeah, yeah. Went to state as a freshman and everything. So we went to state. I went to state my freshman year. So okay. I probably I was 14 as a freshman. Mm. So I had one of these little gold clangies yeah. on my neck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I look, go ahead. Oh, yeah. 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 Man, put Mate. it right along. Yeah. Yeah. I don't talk like this. Man. Like, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I can't even look at it. Look at my mic. It's Get gone. that shot real quick. Go on. One time for the one. Go Yeah. 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 But, uh, did you go to uh, college in Houston or did you go somewhere outside of Houston? Man, I had so many offers going. Yeah. But I chose to go right up the road two hours from here. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with Wichita that. Wichita State. Wichita State? State? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a shocker. Okay. Man, uh, I was wondering, man, you know, what's, what's your fastest time? Because, man, I know I ain't never went that fast Shit. before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So I used to do the 400. So if y'all if not familiar with the 400, that's the one lap around. Okay. okay. So the one lap, one lap around, I was going by like 47.6 high school. Man, that's wild. You know, I do it twice. Never get caught by the police. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> they never got caught by the police. <laughs> Take it off, man. I'm not yeah. gonna get caught by the popo. Man, oh shit. Get caught by the popo. But that's an interesting story. How they, uh, how I went to college and then I dropped out. I went for one semester for Wichita State and then I dropped out. The reason why I dropped out was uh, coach ain't wanna sign my waiver. Right. Yeah. You know how we get. We're not sitting out no year. No, nah, right? man. It's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But me being one of his best incoming freshmen, he was like, man, I took it. I took an L. But at the end of the day, man, look at my future. You know what yeah. I'm you still going to be coaching and <laughs> yeah, paid and doing what you got to do. Me, I'm just going to be doing the bus, just going to practice. Like, damn, I can't even go to the meets. Yeah. yeah. Going through the motions. Going through the motions. Damn. man. Like, I'm, Waste your time, not mine. Right. You know what I'm saying? I might, look, I might as well stop. You know what I'm saying? Just. Try to fucking go professional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to waste my year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's one thing. And I took another year off and came back. So, that was 2012, 2012, right after I graduated. Right. And then I became a strip club DJ. Right after I was about to ask you, how did you transition yeah. into DJ life, man? Man, I was a strip club DJ. I was, I was one of the youngest. I will, I would say I was the youngest. Yeah. Because I was 17 going on 18. Yeah. I was 17 year old, you know. Yeah. DJ in a strip club. Man, right. if I was 17, 18, so. one <laughs> strip club. <laughs> Damn. But nah, I was a strip club DJ. I had to adjust to it, though, because I was so young. You know but what, 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 where did you get your, like, DJ influence from? Like, I was always a music guru. Okay. And then again, I was like, how can I influence it with the music? Like, I'm already getting influenced by listening to their music. Right. How can I affect yeah. it as a person playing their music, you know what I'm saying, to uh, interact with the people? And, okay. Uh, and get shit cracking. Yeah, shit, that's you know dope. What I'm saying? So that shit Hell was crazy. Yeah. But before that, I was doing little house parties, little pool parties. Mm -hmm. So basically, just the love of music. Yeah. 
Just took over. Hell took yeah. Over. So I was like, man, shit was crazy. I might as well get paid for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Like, I'm, getting, love, I'm getting paid a little $20, gonna do a party here, a little $40 here. If I think long term yeah. and I keep going at it, keep going hard, just imagine how big the paycheck gonna be. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I might get these little $20 here, you know right. what I'm saying? But that's a start, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We're going to be a start, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Yeah. But other than that, shit crazy as a motherfucker, man. It was a crazy-ass journey. And then yeah. still talk about the school stuff. I did a whole year, 2013, DJing in a strip club. Mm-hmm. And then I, I quit DJing in 2014. Quit? What made you quit? Shit. I felt I ain't have it anymore. Ain't have it in me no more. Yeah. So I went to I went to UTSA that 2014 uh, uh, January semester. I went there for like three months, and I was like, man, hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. I thought about it. I was like, man, I'm sitting in my room looking at vir- the little virtual DJ because I didn't know how to use Serato at the time. I'm looking at my virtual DJ like, man, I ain't even gonna lie. School ain't like, for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, not saying don't go to school, but if that's for you and that's your passion, then go to school. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I was like, man, hell no, nah, bro. I'm looking at my virtual DJ like this. Should I open it up? Should I open it up? Should I open it up? I'm scrolling on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Because I follow a whole bunch of DJs. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm scrolling down like, damn. DJ this one, DJ that one, DJ that one. And I'm sitting there like, damn, nigga, I didn't quit. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck. I came from, you know what I'm saying, having one of, the, one of the best, like, regular jobs you can have, like a strip club DJ outside. Because right. you get paid more than that in a regular club. You know what I'm right. saying? You're getting tips, then you yeah. might be on top of it, get salary. You know what I'm saying? So, everyone want to take advantage of that strip club. You know what I'm everyone want to. Hold tight on to it until they just old and can't do it no more. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, that virtual DJ got me motherfucking motivated. I thought, man, I'm finna, I'm finna go hard at this shit. Fuck this shit, dog. Trying to get that check, man. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? So, man. What's the largest largest venue you think you done done so far? Largest venue? Yeah. It was a week and a half ago, and uh, we was in uh, West Palm, Florida. Okay. It was a uh, Sunfest. Man, if y'all go. On my IG page, John underscore Wells. Yeah, go see that footage. Plug, man. plug. Yeah. Go see that footage. Like, follow the. It kid. gives you the goosebumps. Like, you gonna be like, damn. Yeah. This nigga a DJ doing this shit. Yeah. yeah. You know Rocking what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing. What it is it? Twenty thousand? It was thirty k. Thirty. Thirty k. Thirty, yeah. 30, 30K. 30 yeah. piece. Thirty k. Yeah. Out there. I got that Steph on it. It ain't 24K <laughs> like these mics, but you know. Yeah. It's 30K. 30K. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a lot. 30K goes. Damn. Man. But nah, it was, it was, that shit was so crazy, man. I was like, damn. And that just gave me a feeling to be like, damn, these people really just like going crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you got most DJs, they just stand at the DJ thing. Right. They can play a song. Crowd ain't going to really just interact as you going out there, touching that, each one of the hands. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh, I, I, I fuck with all y'all. Yeah. Not y'all, nigga. I'm just up here just playing some music. Right. So why not, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bring a different vibe to the scene. Be like, okay, I'm finna fuck with all my fans. I may right. not even know none of y'all, but at the end of the day, y'all gonna be like, damn, I'm a fan of him now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he touched me. He, he did this. He did this. You know what I'm saying? I, I touch people in different ways. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Music-wise, or if I go out there and talk to him, or if I sit there and have a 30-second combo with him. You right, know, some right. people chance to just have a 30-second yeah, combo yeah. with you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, for example... Kanye, everyone want to have a convo. Uh, Jay Z, or something. I'm saying, you want to have at least a 30 second convo. Be like, yeah, hey, I do want to talk like, to that brother. What the fuck is on like, your name? You, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So they, they just be wanting to know. So I mean, when I go out there, like after my shows, I don't go out there and go back backstage. I go out there and go talk to the people. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Try to, hey, how you doing? I'm so and so. I like your performance. Or they might come to me, but I like your performance. But one, nine times out of ten, I'm going out there to the crowd and going to interact with all of them. Oh, so your vibe is tight then. They be yeah. like, man, I can rock with him, man. He a real person. He yeah, ain't all I, stuck I ain't, up. I don't yeah. try to be on that, that like celebrity shit. Like people just can't come close to me or something like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in the crowd with y'all turning up. Woo, 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 we this motherfucker. We turn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so the that shit was crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fans want to experience that. So, that was cool. We got one question though for you, man. We we know you be lit. You got a good vibe, especially you know you, you say you interact with the crowd and everything. Yeah. Take us to a typical day in the life, man. Typical day of like off tour or just like just. No, nah, I don't mean tour. tours yeah. done. It's just you. No, nah, you talking about a day oh. in your life? Yeah, oh, day, day in your life. Day of my life on the tour. Shit. Wake up. 
bro, me like buy like four five blunts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta gotta had it, gotta had it, gotta had it, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, first thing I do after that, you know what I'm saying, go wash my face and shit like that. Because I'm already, you know what I'm saying, laying down. So I'm rolling my phone. <laughs> then yeah. I'm going to do what I got to do after that. So I can feel good, yeah. you know what I'm saying, get my morning vibe going on oh, and yeah. shit like that. And then after that, I might go explore the city. You know what I'm saying? I might go hop off the bus myself and be like, okay, well, let me go get lost for a second. I got Uber. I know how to find my way back. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not, you know what I'm saying? Uber saved my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other than that, all that GPS looking, walking this way. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, Uber. I ain't get back to my destinations over up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come yeah. find me. <laughs> so yeah, go explore the go explore the city. Go whatever attractions they got by. Might react. I might go. I might go talk to the fans that still be outside waiting. Mm-hmm. Hours before. Right. Like five hours before, they might they be waiting for like bus pull up. They I'm like, how long y'all been out here? Rain, right. sleet, and snow. How long y'all been out here? <laughs> so as soon as we get off the bus, first thing they do want to come approach us. It's like they mean, like, oh what's up? Ooh, can't wait for the show. You know what I'm saying, blah blah. And shit like that, so that should be dope. And then after that, I probably go do sound check. I go, I go do the venue because I gotta wait for the sound. People get all the equipment stuff and all that stuff set up. So I go do sound check, knock that out, and then I go straight to the green room. I want to see what, what food is in that motherfucker. Because <laughs> as soon as they be like, hey, it's morning, they didn't cook some. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the way. After yeah. I smoke a blanket, get everything done. I'm going down now. Hey, and then like a free meal, good meal, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> Breakfast, the most important one. All you can eat. Yeah, that's my favorite word. You know me, right? <laughs> I ain't finna play around. But uh, man, what's a little known fact about yourself, man? You know, speaking to your fans, man, something that they really don't know about you. Like a little known fact, like like me. Like every time I pass a taco truck, man, I gotta stop. It's a little known fact. I gotta stop. It's something about you. Oh, something about me. Yeah. Man. Don't never stop eating. Man. That's how you stay alive, bro. Man, I know all my fans need to know that I love pizza. So if you ever bring pizza to my show, man, you can come backstage with me. I swear. Hey, <laughs> bless I my swear, bless the kid. Man. What's your what's Tell what gotta be on top there, Joe? You gotta have pineapples on that motherfucker, okay. Italian sausage, pepperoni, yeah. man, cheese, man, all that. It can be anything, man. Hey, as long as it ain't got no Crazy out of the line vegetables on them, yeah. like bell pepper. I don't, bell like pepper. Nah, I don't need nothing that, that hot shit like that. But sun dried tomato. And- nah, I ain't nothing here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed peppers, all that. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Black olives, hell, yeah. nah. That shit nasty to the motherfucker, man. So in the next five years, uh, where you want your career to be? Fair shit. Where you see it at least? Shit. Mm. I don't know. I really don't be looking at the next five years like okay. that. Living in the moment, man. Nah, not really living in the moment. Just, I just be trying to progress on the daily. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I don't know what the next five, five years may bring. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what next year bring, but I know what tomorrow might bring if I go out there and go do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't really on no five plan method or, you know what I'm saying? If I can achieve it the next day, then I'll go out there and go try to go do it. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not, oh, I got to go wait a year to go do something, or I got to wait three years to go right, do right. something. You know what I'm saying? But if it's right there in reach, why well, you just do it the next day? You know what I'm saying? That's what the work ethic is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas get lazy and shit. I'm like, shit, two years, though, I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> three years, I'm going to be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, nigga, you better work right now. Yeah, you can get some shit. Day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day is a progress. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't going backwards, you're going forwards. Yeah. So, it's real. What would you tell a, a up and coming DJ that's seeing you like, man, I want to rock it just like John, man? Like, what advice would you have for like up and coming ones or ones that are working and just trying to, you know, get to the next level? Really be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone would be like, everyone want to put DJs in a category. Oh, he's a top 40 DJ. Or mm-hmm. he's a trap DJ. Or he's a, he plays, he's a twerk DJ. Or he's a college DJ. Or he's a, this high school DJ, or he just do high school parties or something like that, man. You can do all, you can do everything. You know what I'm saying? I didn't done the high yeah, school parties. Yourself. I didn't done this. I didn't done that. Like I ain't done all that stuff y'all say, but you know what I'm saying? When you just limit yourself to do one thing, then put yourself it. in the box. You see your, you see your results. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna right. be hitting the wall every single time. So that's the advice I tell them. They be like, I be getting DMs crazy. They be like, man. Shit, I'm gonna stop rapping. I'm a DJ because damn, you got your shit littered in the most, most rap performances. I'm like, man, <laughs> what, what does that tell you? You gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Go work on it. Yeah, keep work on your craft, man. Yeah, 
They say how many hours it take to master your craft? Mm. Shit, I don't know too much. Too many. I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's one a, of your it's sayings, bro. I, shit, I know the number, but shit, you gotta. It's ten thousand, but you gotta keep going up. Yeah. Shit, like he said, every, last if, if you keep going every day, shit, it might come at five. You gotta work though. Yeah. Yeah. That's you never know when that shit might come. Might come whenever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas might be niggas like four primes and I'm gonna be a millionaire two years. Nigga, be a millionaire next week. Yeah. Be a millionaire tomorrow. You gotta grind, man. You know what I'm saying? You never know what the fuck might happen if you keep grinding and yeah. shit. You gonna be like, you gonna be motherfucking like, damn, I'm surprising myself. I'm really, you know what I'm saying, achieving like this. Then you gonna be like, damn, I can achieve what more. What else can I do? Yeah. Once you achieve one step, yeah. you gonna be like, damn, I can achieve more. You do that, you gonna be like, achieve more. And after that, you just gonna keep going. You just gonna keep achieving. You know just what I'm saying? Don't bite off more. You can chew and be realistic, huh? For real. Man. But I was wondering, like, uh, how is it being on the road with, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, Ray Shrum? Well, I tell you, that road like crazy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, boy, I tell you, man. Whole bus be smoked out, man. You go in the like, it's a fog, old, like, you know, you yeah. got the fog machines in the club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you put the fog machine at the front of the bus. Yeah. Hey, that's how that's how the bus be. Like straight like, you, you come on a bus, you gonna, you come on a bus, you can be like, damn, I'm already shit. It's it's so much smoke down here. And came across. But now they road shit lit to the motherfucker. They like, going from like the studio to playing motherfucking PS4 on the road and shit like that. Shit be loud. Playing 2K, mm -hmm. uh, MMA, like all the UFC, all this shit should be fun. Who you run with on 2K? On 2K? Yeah. Random. I always do random, you know, because it, it, it don't be fair, because you know they like to they like to play with two teams all day. Yeah. Golden State, Cleveland. Pretty much. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> want to play with Steph Curry. Especially you put, put some but money now, in. but now the Rockets come into into effect yeah. now, so niggas, niggas are starting to pick the Rockets now. You know what I'm saying? Tough. In 2K. But now I like I like that random stuff. I don't like nobody knowing who, sh how you know how to shoot with them, how yeah. you know how to dribble. Nah, we playing random. That's how you know you can really play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how you can really play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some of them are like, man, that's not my team. You just don't know how to play. Right. <laughs> Plain and simple. Everybody, hey, everybody got a three-point shoot on there. Everybody got the post-up players. Yeah. Just put it on random and let them skills do what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about that, uh, that, that Dazed and Blaze tour coming up? You got a couple of days on that, or you going to be the whole thing? Man, that shit, that shit going to be crazy. I'm going to like to be on it. You know what I'm saying? If, uh, cause, you know, they got artists. They got Ray Shrimmer has two artists to the label. Right. Mm -hmm. Bubba Swain riff three times. So I mean, if it's not inter if it's not interfering with that, then you're more likely. Okay. So yeah, then no, no, it's gonna be a crazy ass tour because all the previous tours I've been on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I see the way you shook your head. Go ahead, man. give us give us the craziest tour story real quick, man. Yeah, man, go on to send us out. Yeah, we gotta wrap it, it up got after this. It ain't gotta be about you, but just something you didn't see and this was like, yeah, this this life. Craziest tour story. No, you got one. Yeah, he's smiling, <laughs> man. He's like, man, it was probably good. got 10 of them. <laughs> I mean, I got a couple crazy tour stories. Like, I'm going to say, for a prime example, when I was in uh, when I was in Berlin, when I was I was in Berlin, I got super sick and they had to rush me to the hospital. That was a crazy-ass tour experience. I thought I'd never get sick like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was already used to traveling on the road for track. Right. But doing that on the road, I was like, damn, now I know Hey, man, you gotta really take care gotta of yourself shit, like a eat, motherfucker. Eat food? Yeah, I ate some fuck ass McDonald's, man. <laughs> oh, man. But nah, but that, but but <laughs> but, but if you good. ever if you ever go overseas, their food is way more better than right, how it is right. over here. Like their water tastes different, mm -hmm. their Sprite tastes different, their Coca Cola tastes different, their candy tastes different. Like everything, they don't have all that additive shit that we have in our right. shit. You know, what right? a lot of our shit is like bam. You know what I'm saying? Like they eat the raw meat oh, and all right. that shit like that. They don't really cook their shit like that because they, they think it's cleaner like that and all that type of shit. But they food is good, but I guess that day I just got fucked off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucked off and they had to rush me. I was dead. I got a video. I got a video. I had no idea. I took it off. Like the reactions to it was way out of my reality. I couldn't even hold my phone when I was doing it. Like, damn. <laughs> I was just so scared, <laughs> man. This shit was crazy. But Another another crazy tour story. Shit, I mean, but this is all crazy tour stories. Just this girl's getting kicked off the bus. That should just be so funny. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't wish that on no girl, but when when it happens, that is this shit is just funny, dog. Like, cause it's, it's like first off, you, you you came on, and then second off, like like we can kick you off whenever we want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking for everybody, not just not just me, but if I personally don't want you around. Man, get off the bus. 
If you get mad, what you get mad for? You know what I'm saying? No reason to get mad. You know what I'm saying? I want my privacy. Get the fuck off the bus. Yeah. Time to go. Beat it. Time to go. <laughs> not finna argue with you. I'm not finna do none of that. Hey. Woo! Hey, yeah. uh. <laughs> get her down because she tripping yeah. right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that was a, that was a crazy to a story. Trying to get back on the bus. <laughs> man, Take what? me home. Oh, nah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on man. Let me, t- let me tell you about this one tour story, man. One tour story. So we we, we at the club, right? Uh-huh. She with, she with her dude. Right. I guess the dude, I guess the dude at the time didn't give a fuck because he was drunk. So, oh, oh, girl, you just hop in the car. What? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. It's getting ready to go. Yeah. You know how it's getting ready. You know when it's round up time. It's round up time. Yeah. Everybody goes. So females. Oh, yeah. Shit, I don't gotta get my way anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, they trying to, they trying to, they, uh, she squeezing her way through. Yeah. She got on the, she got on the bus and that. I mean, she got on the, uh, on the Sprinter van or the SUVs that we used to ride and shit like that back to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, to the venue where my bus is parked at. Man, let me tell you this, man. Her boyfriend is in the car behind the following us. Yeah, bro. Oh. <laughs> <Chasing>. <laughs> <laughs> he probably showed up. He was like, wait a minute. <laughs> you drinking and you be like, yeah, baby. <laughs> she, she, she in the bed. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> it's, it's funny. So they, don't say they going, they arguing and shit like that and whatever, whatever. I'm like, I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking out the I'm looking out the window. Damn! What's going on out there? Yeah. <laughs> well, that shit was so. That's what the crazy shit though. That, that, shit, funny like, but, that shit was funny. Like her boyfriend really followed us back to like where we was going. Yeah. Like, I thought you said it was okay for you to go. You pulled up. Yeah. Why would you let your girl? Bro, I don't you know, like. Hey, look, man. Wrong, that's my girl, bro. She ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Party with some rock stars, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, these ain't. But yeah, man, uh, man, I appreciate you for stopping through, my dude, yeah, man. Bro, I, this is my like, third, fourth time in Tulsa, man. I love Tulsa, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's love, country, man. though. You know what I'm saying? Houston country. We got country spots out there, so it's, it's a mutual feeling. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love the country, man. I, if I went to a big city, man, I'd start getting homesick, man. <laughs> For real. Man, I, I didn't try the big city, man, but I, just, I, I like just the country, man. That's my end goal, man. Give me some land, do my little thing. Yeah, no land. neighbors. The land yeah. where it's at. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, man, for those who don't uh, follow you or, uh, you know, you're following, man, tell them where they can follow you at, man. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at J-O-N underscore W-E-L-L-S. It's John underscore Wells on all social media platforms. Hey, it's lit too, man. Yeah, go ahead and follow him, man. Shout out to 1AM, by the way, man. They lit. Appreciate that. Hey, man. Anytime you come through, man. Yeah, when it you... comes to town, come through. So, yeah, man. Uh, for real, for real. Keep doing this shit. That shit gonna be lit. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I know what time it is. <laughs> One at him. Now it's time to go turn this motherfucker <laughs> up. Drop the mic. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, get that I got, shot. I gotta, I gotta give him, I gotta, I gotta put around the neck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>